ever wanted to know the best locations to have for each business in GTA Online? Of course you have. Well, today is your lucky day. Having racked up well over $2.7 billion and have over 11,000 hours in game in GTA Online, I should know a thing or two about the best locations for each business. I'll go through each business in turn, explain why the chosen location is best and how much it will cost. There are a total of 13 different businesses, but there is only one location for the Acid Lab and that's at the Freak Shop, so we won't be including that one. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up is the Agency. I have previously made a detailed video going through all of the locations for the Agency and explain their pros and cons, so if you want a more nuanced breakdown, I suggest you go and watch that one. But in conclusion, the best location is at Howick. Not only does it have a large space out front for delivering back vehicles, Alright, nice! But it's also the closest to both of the fastest security contracts to complete, which are the Recover Valuables. Ideal when you just want to rack up those 200 contracts in order to get the maximum safe income. It's also the best overall location for completing the Data Leaks missions, with it the closest to many of the missions, including the Dr. Dre finale. They're here! Take them mother- The Howick Agency starts at $2.83 million, but can rise to over $5 million depending on what other extras you chuck in. There are two main sides to earning money from the auto shop. One is through completing the fun mini heist robbery contracts, and the other is by modifying some cars and then delivering back to the customer for a nice profit. The best overall location is Burton. It's the closest location to everyone's favourite contract, the Onions Suppository, but also has short and easy access to the clients when delivering back their vehicles. One location from here is as close as only half a mile away. The base price for this auto shop is 1.83 million, but getting it fully upgraded with staff, car lifts and other extras could see it rise to well over 4 million. If anyone tells you that Chumash is the best bunker location, they are lying. Having had this on an alternative character, I just didn't like it. I disliked it even more when the ammunition delivery missions were introduced. The best bunker location is without doubt the farmhouse one. Not only is it by far the best for delivering to the ammunition stores, but it's also the closest location to the city for those bigger bunker sales. One drawback you may find is how sometimes your personal vehicle will spawn well away from you down on the highway. However, if you stand about here and look this way, your vehicle will always spawn just behind you. This one starts at $2.375 million, but will be almost $4.5 million after you install all the upgrades. Depending on how you want to play this one will depend on what is best for you. For example, I hate doing a CEO crates business, so when I made my second character, I only bought one warehouse, which was the closest to the docks, to make the exotic goods deliveries much faster. Hey, Hefa, what's up? We got that stuff all loaded up for you on the flatbed. It's right outside the warehouse. Nothing left to do but deliver. Ship's waiting at the docks. I say watch your back, but look who the fuck I'm talking to, right? The 
The warehouse in question is the large one in Cyprus, at a cost of $3.265 million. However, if you're planning on really grinding these, the best warehouses to have are these five shown here, as it makes it much easier to travel to and from each one when getting staff to source crates, or when sourcing them yourself. These five warehouses will total $13.4 million. As for the best CEO office, it's definitely Maze Bank Tower. It is the most expensive, starting at $4 million, and could rise to over $6 million with your added extras. But it's the closest to the best warehouse in Cyprus, meaning I can deliver my exotic goods in only a couple of minutes. The best locations for a hangar is easily one of the three situated at Fort Sankudo military base. Not only will this allow you to enter the base without receiving a wanted level, but many of the source emissions for the air freight cargo tend to be further north. Having one of the two locations down at LSIA means a whole lot more traveling. My pick would be Hangar 3497, starting at just over $2 million, as it's slightly more central on the map, but is also the cheapest overall, although cost can rise to over $4 million depending on your added options. If your plan is to have these businesses owned so you can just create stock for your nightclub, then only ever buy the cheapest and ignore the upgrade cost, as this won't make any difference to how much stock is produced. However, if you plan to run this as a business themselves, these are the best locations. First, we'll look at the document forgery business. No locations are good. They all suck because the business sucks. Don't ever buy this, ever. As for the weed, the best location is downtown Vywood due to how central it is, meaning many of the selling missions are easier to complete. You doing this, huh? The product's in the back of the truck and ready to move. Get it to the buyer and you're done. Push me into this. Oh! Ah! This one will cost you just under $1.4 million, plus another $1.6 million to fully upgrade it, totaling just over $2.9 million. With the MEF, the cheapest one at only $910,000 is the best location, as, like the weed, it's the most central compared to the others. This one will cost you a total of just under $2.9 million if you fully upgrade it. For $845,000, which is again the cheapest option, is the best counterfeit cash location in Grand Sonora Desert. This one is another one that is the most central. Fully upgraded, this will set you back $1.6 million. And for the Coke lockup, there is one very close by by the counterfeit cash business next to the Alamo C at $975,000, meaning that you could have all three of the best ones in close proximity. But my preference is the one at Morning Wood, right in the city. But this is more than double the cost, at just over $1.8 million. Ideally, if you're planning to sell them all one after another, you want two in the city and two in the desert to make it quicker to bounce back and forth when selling as you'll end up the opposite side of the map. Both businesses will cost another $1.9 million to fully upgrade. To run any MC business, you would have first needed to have bought an MC clubhouse. This isn't majorly important, as the bike business is pretty rubbish, but the best one is at Pillbox Hill, costing $455,000, but could be around $2 million depending on your add-ons. From here, every bike delivery mission will not take you more than 2 minutes to complete. Ah! 
and is also one of the most central for the other MC biker missions. The nightclub for me is a no-brainer, with West Vinewood being the best. For your sending missions, it's much further north than the others, and many missions will see you heading that way. Great, okay, looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven, Tony Prince. This one starts at $1.7 million, but this will rise significantly once you've added in your upgrades at almost $2.6 million and you've kitted it out to your taste, totaling around $7 million. And last but not least, we have the vehicle warehouse. There are really only two locations you want to consider, both being very close to the main highways, making it easier to source and to deliver. One is at Murrieta Heights, starting at $2.85 million, and the other is at La Mesa for almost half that price, starting at just $1.5 million. So really, you're better off going for La Mesa. So those are all the best locations you want to have for each and every one of your businesses. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like and subscribe for more GTA content. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.